Let's saw some logs here. You ready to go, Chip? Drop. Thank you. So today I thought I would film a normal day, an average day, that we do here at Hobby Hardwood. I thought I'd just carry the camera around and go about our normal business. And it generally starts right around daylight and goes until dark. Hope y'all enjoy this. Of course, we got to let Chip uh, do his thing and investigate his kingdom, make sure everything is properly marked, and he's uh, confident that we haven't been invaded the night before by some school of possums or who knows what. The gate's open and we're ready for business. Beautiful day. Sun's not even up yet, but time to get to work. Oh yeah, she's a little cold. Let's go get a few logs. Get some sawing going on. Let's saw some logs here. I've got some really nasty butternut. Uh, I'm not going to get a whole lot of wood out of these ugly things. But you don't want to waste anything. Butternut's pretty cool anyway. Tension up the band. I try to start every morning with a cup of coffee, a egg biscuit, and a bunch of logs on the sawmill. I got a certain quota of lumber I've got to hit, keep the kilns fed, keep the business running. And I found out that if I do that first thing in the morning, I can get it done, get it over with, before I get too concerned with the rest of the activities that we need to address in the business. Butternut saw is like butter. It's real easy. It's it doesn't really make much straight wood, but we got Christmas coming up and there's gonna be a big market for four quarter charcuterie boards, which are basically live edge slabs and inch thick. So since I've got a limited number of these logs, I'm gonna just cut them all into four quarter live edge. favorite things to do. You buy a sawmill, you better get used to stacking a lot of wood. That one's ringing. Just another good day at Hobby Hardwood. Let me answer this phone. I'm talking about trying to get my sawing done early because before I know it, I get a phone call from one of my loggers. All right, Chip, move over. We got to go get the trailer. We got logs to go get. I know, I know. Really? Well, since the logger's called and says he's got me a couple loads of logs, 
there's nothing I can do. I gotta stop what I'm doing. I got to go get those logs. I told them that I would pay if they found them. They found them. I gotta go get them. I gotta pay for them. That's just the way business works. Martha's working. Trimming off some. Ooh, that's pretty. Rosie maple boards. Yep. And here we are. Gonna go get some logs. Got to order a bass, wouldn't? It? Beautiful logs. Sixteen foot, two foot diameter. Nice. Let's hurry up and get these darn things unloaded so I can go back and get another load. Man, these are some pretty logs. Look at them, 16 foot long, ain't got a knot on them. These are nice logs. This is why when the guys with the logs call and say they got logs for me, I got to go get them because I don't want anybody else getting them. Number two, the donkeys have moved a little bit. That's a good time. These things unloaded, I can get some lunch. Man, it's already been a long morning. My butt's tired from sitting in that truck hauling these logs everywhere. Moving a little bit slow. Yeah, now comes the fun part. You gotta clean the trailer deck because I also use it for hauling lumber and I do not want bark chips and stuff hitting cars behind me. The log yards are filthy and dusty so it don't take long for me to grab a hose and just clean my truck off. Alright, we are done. I think Martha's going to have some pizza here for us. I hope. After a fine lunch of half a frozen pizza, it's time to get to doing the other things, one of which is planing a lot of wood. So, time to get all the equipment up and running. There's a lot of things that are enjoyable in life. Planing wood is not high on my list of top 10 things I like to spend hours a day doing. It's something that you got to do to produce high quality wood. It's just kind of mind numbing. Oh, just not really a fan of it. But either way, we got some real nice equipment. This planer makes relatively short work of it. And it sure beats our old single sided. These are boards that for one reason or another we have found defects on. So we have cut them from typically eight feet long to threes and four footers and turned them into virtually defect free boards. So in order to finish the process, we'll flatten the bottom, thickness the top, and um, they went from ugly to pretty. Now we're resetting our tables back up, changing the configuration a little bit. We've got, looks like about a half a pallet of real nice four quarter walnut, eight feet long. And uh, we will put, do what's called hit or miss planing. Notice that zero go by that log, that board was a zero defect board. Basically what we'll do is we will uh, flatten the bottom and then surface the top and bring them down to 15 sixteenths of an inch and that lets us grade and visualize any defects that are in the board. It also makes for a much easier to sell board because it's not rough sawn anymore. It's virtually plain. <laughs> Folks may say that that planer is feeding kind of slow. It is, I've got it set at about one third 
of its actual speed capacity. However, you'll notice that Martha's getting the boards out at a decent clip that she can keep up with. And that's really the main thing. You don't want to overfeed the person on the back side because they have to stack and organize the wood. And you sure do not want to feed so fast that you piss them off. Let me shut the generator off and get all this swapped out. Yeah, we're real, we're real careful not to leave the generator running too long if we're not actually producing wood with it. Uh, it burns 14 gallons an hour fuel. A lot of people don't realize how much energy a sawmill operation takes. And with a mom and pop shop, <laughs> energy is dollars. We try to be very mindful of that. I'm ready for a break. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear Martha say that. I can tell the other member of the team is uh, probably ready for a break too. He's looking pretty tired. That right, Chip? You walking? Come on, dog. Chip, let's go. Gotta love it. Got a big old walnut splinter. Man, them things hurt. Walnut splinters, um, they feel like they've been big, dipped in battery acid. Oh, by the way, I got this coffee cup from my youngest daughter. Going back out to the salt mine. Now we've got a real nice load of beautiful eight quarter walnut. I guess today's just a walnut plain and day. Beautiful stuff, straight as an arrow, and what isn't straight, this carpet planer will straighten up. A little bit of wane, a little bit of issues, but it's really some nice looking stuff. Isn't that pretty right there? Woo. Yeah, baby, ain't that some pretty looking walnut? And you can see how clean it is and how flat it's laying. Nice stuff. I had seen it earlier as I'm walking around, I was having a little trouble with one of my kilns. There's still water coming out, but uh, I noticed the controller is pegged where the wet bulb and the dry bulb are reading the same number. So I gotta go in there and fix one of the sensors just part of it. You gotta watch your kilns every single day. There's a lot of wood in there. You screw that up, you're having a bad day. So, kinda like the old cowboys. Really doesn't matter what you're doing. When you got done at the end of the day, you fed the horses. Same thing with the kiln. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. If it ain't right, you gotta stop. You gotta fix it. Hey, the good news is while I'm sitting there playing with these machines, Martha is holding up the fort and she's straight lining a bunch of the wood that we planed earlier. Now we get to play the full size and never ending game of lumber Tetris. It's always something to be done. In this case, I have a pallet that's got some runners that I had knocked out when I had picked them up with a forklift and made it worse when I picked it up with a tractor so sometimes you just got to beat on something with a hammer. Ah, our kingdom and empire of wood. You know, sometimes you just got to walk in and say, why am I doing this? Well, here's the reason. A building full of very, very high grade wood. Well, the shadows are lengthening and it is time to start shutting some of the equipment down and clean up. Um, we started using this stupid little Dewalt thing. This little blower, it works pretty good. You know, we found out if you have a messy work environment, you tend to be messy. I mean, we're not neat freaks or nothing, but sometimes it's good to take a break. And in all honesty, uh, blowing a building out with a leaf blower is one of the easier things that we do during the day. 
Summer is officially over. The fans are leaving the building. What you got, Chip? What you got? Get it! All right, Mark, this time we go. Are we ready for tomorrow? I believe so. We got so much crap in here to sell. If we sell all this, we'll be zillionaires. Or at least be worth a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, let's shut the doors and make like a tumbleweed and roll. I got the door. Chip's got the stick. Yeah, aren't you special? You're so proud, you got a stick. Like a bark. And now we know why he's called Chip. All right, it's time to go home. I'm not either. Chip will get it tomorrow. Let's go to the house. Well, the sun has gone down. We are tired. I'm just tired just watching how many things we did during this video. Uh, the good news is uh, the commute home, there's not a lot of work traffic. The roads are clear and it's not a long ways. I just saw the house lights come on. Yeah, it's dark. Ah, the day is over. We're pulling the four-wheeler back to where we started first thing in the morning. Hey, if y'all don't mind, please subscribe and hit the like button. I thank you.